My name again is Ray Popovich. This will save somebody's life in about three minutes. This is what we call a Swan Gans catheter. This is what we, some of the technology we used to use. We used to put a line inside somebody, a central line through the internal jugular or the subclavian vein. And uh, putting a line near the lung could potentially have a pneumothorax or put some air inside the lungs where we don't want it to be. So again, quite invasive. This is the little wire that we used to put inside here, go through the right side of the heart into the pulmonary vasculature. Um, we get numbers kind of like on what's on this monitor. It would probably take anywhere from 45 minutes to 60 minutes to set this up to get these kind of numbers. Now we can do the same thing within about three minutes, again non-invasively. These are quite expensive, uh, these swan gas catheters cost you know, anywhere for the lines and the swan gas cost hundreds of dollars to get these numbers. These little electrodes that we put on for the patient cost $12. So you can see the advantage is huge, huge advantage for this. This is amazing technology um, for the fact that we can actually look at some information that uh, for the majority of the time we actually have to be very invasive and it actually puts a patient at a bit of a risk when you're trying to get some numbers to treat a patient for sepsis, uh, heart failure, uh, myocardial infarction, and we're trying to actually um, provide medications to help um, save patients' lives. Most of that technology, again, is very invasive, at high risk for the patients themselves. But now we have a device called an ICAS, and uh, this device is, we're actually the first place in Canada that gets this device. Uh, we can actually look at up information, treat the patient uh, non-invasively. So it provides us a very quick uh, reference to the, uh, the heart numbers, uh, body numbers, that we can uh, treat the patient. And we can do it at the bedside. Very little training is needed. So any nurse can come by, put it on, and within three to four minutes, we can get some really substantial hard numbers for us to treat the patient. It's amazing technology. You've never seen, I've never seen nothing like it. And every time a heart beats, it, it moves blood throughout our body. And when the blood moves throughout our body, it, it creates there's a bit of a resistance there. So it measures the impulse from the wrist to the ankle, and of course that loss of resistance through a series of algorithms and calculations through this machine provides us those numbers. In three minutes we can save a life. We can make the determination of what kind of medications you can actually give the patient based on that three minutes. Versus something like this behind me here, the Swan Gans catheter takes about anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour.